Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Well, Scar here, bringing you another Creative Fun Time episode with Scar. And we're continuing to build our modern house. And now we'll move into the master bathroom. So let's get this episode underway. All right, welcome down. And here we go. So there's old Jelly right there. J oh, Jelly's just grinding my gears today. Grinding my gears. She meowed all night, and now she's meowing during making my video. Ah, cats. All right, so we're up at our little work site over here. So in our last episode, of course, we moved inside here and started to decorate the bedroom. Made it pretty snazzy. It looks pretty darn cool. We got a cool little blanket on our bed. Got our snow pillows, and got some cool little skulls up on some shelves. And I really like this over here. We have this nice little windowsill. I think that came out really cool. And yeah, but now we move into the bathroom. So I took out my little uh, chisel and I was kind of chiseling around at the walls trying to figure out if we could expand the bathroom at all. And before, the bathroom was about to here. And I was thinking, we can do better, we can do better. So what I did was I found, I think, give this site a little of room. And I think we can make a wall along here. And I also carved out this section here that was not open so this wall actually went all the way across here so I was able to reclaim a little bit of extra room right there so it's just trying to find as much room as we can get out of it because bathrooms they take a lot of room especially you need to kind of use your imagination a little bit and make objects that aren't really made for such a thing be possible for a bathroom so First thing we need to do here is we're just going to make these pillars. I forgot to do that, so we'll do that right here. So make these pillars along here. Put one right there. Perfect, perfect. And then we'll just run one along here. We'll click and knock out blocks that we shouldn't be. There we go, fix those. And then, of course, we're going to run these along here and do better ceilings and floors throughout the upper level. But we're starting one room at a time. So now we're going to pop on in here. And let's see, let's see, I'm going to, so that would be too small. So I'm gonna frame out this area right here. There we go, so just get the framing done real quick before we get into the nitty gritty details. There we go, oh, I like that. We could, we could either go either way, what do you think? A little bit of, uh, probably should break up this color a little bit. We'll come back and readdress that in a little bit to see what we can do better right there. All right, so now that we're inside, we need some, we got a lot of work to do. So we can actually knock some of the ceiling out. So we'll do that now. And what we're gonna do is we're going to build a shower, kind of a bathtub shower combination. And we're gonna build a toilet, kind of a newer design. And we are going to make a sink and some shelving. I think maybe a shelving unit would look real nice right there. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna fly on up here and just start to fill this in like so. There we go, and we'll run this along here. Very cool, very cool along here. There we go, perfect. And then another row along here. And I think I'll run that to across there. Perfect. All right, there we go. Started to carve this out, looks, looks pretty nice so far. And then up here, I'm going to have a nice wood ceiling across here. There we go, perfect. And all right, so now we got the bones of the house complete, or bathroom. So let's see here. So now we need to think before we get to all the other details, of course, like the sinks and the toilets and the shower, we need to do a floor. And let's see here. So my idea for the floor is to get two quartz blocks here. So we're gonna get a pillar, we're gonna get the chisel, and hmm, so when I open this up to the floor, I don't have anything to place a pillar block on because it's gonna do that. So give me one second, I'm gonna put down a subfloor here and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So I messed with the ceiling up here just a little bit more again, trying to find the right one that looks pretty good. I kind of like this one better. So let me know which one you like better. And here is our floor. So I thought I'd just roll it down real quick. We'll kind of chisel out a little bit here and make our shower and stuff, but it looks kind of cool. I like it. All right, so let's see here. So the first thing we need to do is let's make our sink. So we're gonna put a countertops along here. Then we are going to get out a hopper and we are going to place that against the wall. So what that does is kind of creates, looks like a drain. So that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna put that right there. We are going to get out our, 
level. There we go. Put that down like so. And I was thinking maybe we could maybe make some shelves maybe along here or something like that. I think that might be kind of cool if we just put a few of those along there. Makes it look like some little bit of shelving units. Okay, so we've got that completed. And let's see. So let's make a toilet along here. Put a toilet right there. And let's see, where's the back end? Perfect, like that. And then let's get out ourselves a button. Put the button right there. We're gonna put the button there. We're gonna do something right here with that button in a moment. And is there anywhere else we need the buttons? I don't think so. So then we're gonna get out a weighted pressure plate and we're gonna place one of those on here and one layer like that, take off the mistake. And this kind of looks like a cool little countertop, little tile or something. Looks like a toilet seat, toilet lid at the top. And yeah, all right. So now we're going to, let's see here, item frame. We're gonna pop out our item frame. We're gonna go like that. We're gonna get out a piece of wool. And like that, we have toilet paper, looks awesome. And let's see, now we're going to, let's see, get out our quartz here. And I was thinking either run it like along here like that, or run it along here like so. Hmm, that is the question. What looks better? Hmm, let's get out our window panes. There we go, grab that out. And let's just run this along here. I wish these would be a little bit more over, but we do the best we can with what we have. There we go. And my texture pack reverted back to um, somewhere along the lines, back to this weird bluish on the sides. I gotta fix that again. I just haven't had the time. Gotta fix that. Gotta fix that. And I gotta finish this thing too. Okay, so we're gonna keep running this glass along here. There's we go. And I got something a little bit cool planned for right here. Let's get out our glowstone. So I was trying to figure out how to light it. And while I was putting the floor in, I figured this cool little trickaroo here. So we're just gonna place that there. We're gonna place a bath mat. You know when you come out of the shower, you gotta have a little bath mat to put your feet on. There we go. So put so we're gonna have that like so. There we go. So let's see here. Let's get out our panes. One more time. Oh no, that's probably good. And then maybe just do a step like that. Yeah, how about that? That looks nice. I'm just gonna go like, mm, I'm planned to think about, no, no, that looks odd. Yeah, that looks odd. So let's actually back that off. We're gonna go like this. Yeah, yeah, that looks nicer. That looks nicer. I, I, think, I think that looks a little bit, yeah, that looks nicer with the step up. I like that better. Okay, so for here now, let's see what in our magical inventory we can pull out. So let's do shower head, like so. I love sometimes playing in creative mode. You know, I, I find it far more rewarding to play in survival, but sometimes it is fun to play in creative mode. It really, really gets you thinking, you know, with your magical inventory like this, you're just like thinking of all sorts of different possibilities and stuff. It can be really fun. Okay, so we need a button. So let's grab our button. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we are going to place two buttons like so, and then we are going to place item frames, and then our hot, we'll place that right there, and our cold, like so. There we go, look at that. So you need some hot water, you click that. Oh, wait, 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 there we go, you click that, you get some cold water, you click that, and I think that is just about super awesome. So we're gonna remove that. And let's see here, over here, we could use a little bit of sprucing up. So let's get out our chocolate wood and we're going to run some shelving units along here. And let's see, I'm actually going to grab out some towels. So let's grab out a couple colors that look nice. So let's grab a nice white, cut cyan, maybe even a green, something like that. And we're going to place one like there, one right there. So look at that. So it's like little towels, you know, for your shower. You know, come out of your shower, go over here, grab a little shelf. What do you think? I think that looks pretty good. And then we can't actually place a half slab there. So we're gonna place one right there. And what are we gonna do over here? Hmm. Figure that part would look a little funny if it's just white. What do you think? Should it be cyan, white, or chocolate wood up there? Hmm. I almost think it would probably be better if that was like that. Yeah, I think that looks better. I would love to do a little something right here, but of course it's opened and I don't, I would, a window would look nice, but from inside, but it's just a little odd from the outside. So let's see. So I think that looks pretty good. I would like to put some more towels up here. 
but I can't put them there. So we are going to go one more up and we're going to place another and another. There we go. I like that. That looks nice. I think that looks good. Um, what do you think? Another row down here for good measure? I think so. And then what, what do we say? What do we say about maybe even getting really crazy now and putting a nice row of chocolate blocks back here? I think that might be good. So let's do such a thing. There we go. Very nice. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how we like that as we move along. Let's put our towel back up there. Okay, and over here, this blank wall is very disturbing. It's just a big blank wall of nothingness. A portrait? You know, a portrait might look okay right there. We'll try. We'll try. Let's see. Let's grab ourselves out a portrait. There we go. Put our chocolate wood away. And mm, trying some different options. Looks nice. I like that. It looks okay. Let's see if there's any other colors that might look nice in here. Hmm. I feel like this wall could use something else. Let's just run the gamut here and say, ooh, I love that portrait. It's such an awesome one. If we had a nice three wide portrait, wouldn't that be great? But unfortunately, we don't have any. Let's see. All right. Well, what do you think, guys? A portrait or maybe we could get a little wild with ourselves here and place some shelves maybe along here like this. Some fun shelves like that. Let's add another row up here. I kind of like that. So what, what options do you guys like better, A or B? So we could do a portrait or we could do one of these shelves, kind of like this. We're gonna leave it there for a little bit. I wanna get your guys' opinion on that one. And you know, once I'm looking at this side, I think the quartz looked better back there. So I'm going to put those back like so, and then pop up there like there, and add another one right there. All right, well. I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. So we got our bath mat coming out of our sink. Now over here, I was gonna update to the new snapshot input packed ice or ice back here. But unfortunately, we just do not have enough room to push back. So we need to come up with a mirror. If you guys have any ideas for a mirror here, I usually go with, you know, ice or something along those lines. And, but I don't have the room for it. So, hmm, I don't know what to do up there. But um, I need your guys' opinion on that. And I think a portrait right here would look nice. I have one in particular, the single block one that has kind of the cyan colors in it. So if we can just find it, we're rolling the dice. Yeah, kind of like that one. There's another one also I'm trying to think of where it, wow, it's giving me the same one multiple times. Come on, come on, where are you? No, we broke the house. We broke the house. We broke it. <laughs> oh, I wish we could select the portraits we want. Come on, come on. You just you just don't want to give it to me, do you? You just don't. The portrait uh, boss is just saying, nope, 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 can't have the one you want. Can't have it. You just can't have what you want. Just can't have it. <laughs> Are you seriously not going to give me the portrait I want? Come on. I know the one I want, and I know you have it in your in your inventory over there. You're just not letting me have it. All right, welcome back. I did finally get the portrait. It took a long time, but I did get it. So let's do a quick little tour of our bathroom. So here it is. So we have our sink on this side with a nice hopper. We need to come up with maybe a mirror or some other additional lighting up here. So definitely let me know if you have any other ideas. Got the portrait that I wanted up there. We have our toilet. We got a cool little uh, toilet paper roll. We've got our button on this side. We've got our seats and we've got our towels on this side. I think that's really nice. Shelving up here. So definitely let me know also if you want to see the portrait here or the shelving unit. And in our shower, we have our hot and cold and the spout up here where we can take a shower, sit down on our bath mat, which covers up our glowstone and lighting for the area. And yeah, well, there we go. So that is our bathroom. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as the sun rises out those windows, it looks quite awesome. So now we need to figure out which room we need to do next. So what do you guys want to see? Another, maybe this could be an office or a media room or continue just to kind of work on the uh, kind of the beautification of the rest of the house, the interior design of the hallways and stuff, or maybe some of these, like maybe they like this could be a kid's room with some bunk beds or something cool like that. So definitely know which room you want me to do next. We still have all of the downstairs, such as living rooms and kitchens. So, all right. 
That's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you believe the video did deserve a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. So we're going to, let's see, we're going to start right here. We're going to go three blocks. And then we're going to go another three. There we go. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then we're going to take our snow. And we're going to rise the snow up there. So raise it up just about.